Hello everybody, so I'm going to play week three of GeoGuessr's competitive weekend series, but there are two or three changes this time around. One is affecting the Battle Royale distance, and in that case you only get three lives per round, whatever the number of lives you've accumulated in the previous round, so you cannot do more than three guesses per round. Uh, in the previous series, the previous times, previous rules, you could guess as often as you had, uh, as many times as you had lives, basically. So you'd have situations where you'd be fighting for the exact location when it's obvious that it's, let's say, Singapore, and you're trying to desperately find the exact location, everyone's adding a new guess. Uh, so now you have to be a little bit more careful and you can't just add millions of guesses. The second change is regarding duels, uh, and that got really tricky, uh, but it's more fair because now you get matched with someone of similar strength instead of being just completely random. And I say it's getting more tricky because my ranking is not so bad, uh, so I get matched with people who are actually pretty good, uh, to say the least. And there's a tiny other change uh, in the duel mode, as you'll see later, and that's just the damage that is not as um, not increasing as quickly as it used to, and the healing process is a little bit uh, smaller as well, but that's details in terms of points and the mechanics of the dual point system as you play along. Anyway, so just like last time, I'll do one game of each. Uh, hopefully, just like last time when I did this recording, it wasn't too bad. I've already done, as you can see on the screen, six or seven uh, of each of the different modes for this week in series, uh, and I didn't do as well as last week so far. So let's see what we're up to, I'll do it in the same order as uh, the past two times. Distance first, country second, and duel last. Just to remind you, distance, you have to close to guess. Uh, the location is close as possible, and one person gets eliminated each round. In the countries mode, you have to guess the exact country, otherwise you don't make it to the next round. Plus, it's just like a game of musical chairs, there is one less spot at the next round than the previous round, uh, and duel, well, you're just competing like the distance game except just against one opponent. So let's get started. Two seconds. All right, so this looks like a European landscape. Now our roads, the type of cars. Um, just gonna look at the sky, very flat, gives me an Eastern European feel. Let's see if we can see any markings here. Give me a sense of give me a sense of Slovenia, but it, I don't see any mountains. So it would be if it's Slovenia in the northern side of Slovenia, you can see. I think no, I can't. Yeah, I think you can barely see the blue of the of the license plate, which would be European Union. But this street sign is typical of Vienna. And this is so tricky. Vienna has just all the kind of, all the different type of landscape from urban, urban city center to this completely residential green rural area. You'd think in the middle of the Lithuanian countryside, it was indeed Vienna, five kilometers away. I was on the correct side of the Danube. I just checked the name. I just didn't want to say something stupid about the river's name. All right, qualified with the best guess, but that doesn't matter. Uh, Radisson Hotel, that could be anywhere. We're driving on the right trees. We have a mosque here. And it's written in Arabic. I'm wondering if this is actually Dubai. Where these very fairly wide roads. I'm not sure about the taxi. Yeah, I think it is the taxi of the UAE. Anyway, there's not so many Arabic speaking countries in Street View. You only have Tunisia, Jordan and Palestine. So let's go for the UAE. Somewhere in Sharjah. Let's see. Yep, it seems to be the best guess so far. So hopefully, yeah, I'm not, I mean, hope, not hopefully, even if I'm, if it's not the correct location, which it is, the best guess, and it was indeed Sharjah, in the northern part of Dubai. Uh, 
All right, round number three. Air drive, that could be Spain. Let's let's confirm this. Yes, La Haba, Quintana, 29 de la Serena. This sounds Spanish. Behind you have a European Union sign in the distance. And EX346, I think this should be giving the name of the um, of the province. No, Extremadura. No, no. Uh, I want to double check if I'm in Spain. I'm actually maybe not in Spain. Have a have a doubt now. No, I must be in Spain. This looks like Spain. There's another sign here. Medellin. I got oh Madrid. All right. Villanueva. I don't know where this is exactly. I'm gonna put it here. It's not the best guess. Where is Villanueva? De la whatever. Should be qualified. I'm in the middle of the pack. I had a slight doubt because I saw Medellin. I thought, oh, Medellin is Colombia, but obviously you have similar names. All right, I was quite far away. It was in, I think in Andalusia. No, you can see the EX thing. And now I don't know what the name of that province is. Usually the name of the streets in Spain have start with the acronym of the Spanish state, like A for Andalusia, M for Mallorca, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I think this has, again, an Eastern European vibe to these building blocks. But I'd have no idea where. This could be Czechia, this could be Lithuania, I don't know. Poland, maybe even. All right, we have, indeed, this looks... So the language here, I don't recognize it. I think I'm going to go with Czechia, but I'm not convinced with a language. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm going to go be with, between um, Czechia and Slovakia. Um, let's see if I can, I can see any further. All right, I'm the second best guess. I'm going to get qualified anyway. Third best guess. 239 kilometers. Oh, it wasn't Czechia, but not at all in the same spot. I was too close to Slovakia. It was actually next to Poland and Germany, just in this little area here. All right, there are six of us. Only five will make it. For a second, I thought it was German, but that's not. I'm wondering if uh, it's Scandinavian, but no, this doesn't look. Signs. Oh, we have something here. Hang on. Let me go back. I think this is uh, Swedish. I think this is Swedish. I am not sure, actually. Let's go with Sweden with this road sign. I don't know where. I'm going to put it here. All right. This is the second best guess. I need to move my laptop a bit because I cannot see how far away I am. Okay, here we go. No, it's not the correct spot, but now I'm, I didn't see how far I was from the best. Ooh, it's gonna be just, just qualified. It was Sweden, it was just in Northern, I mean, Northern Central Sweden, difficult to describe. So it was a Swedish sign, just got qualified. It was the, it was the last one to pass through. That's enough, that's good. Let me see how many lives I have. I have three lives. All right, the road isn't very, very good. The sun is pointing south, roughly, and it looks like the noon sun, so we'd be in the northern hemisphere. But, and the road lines are white. Would this be Mexico with this pickup? Oh, hang on, the license plates. If they're quite narrow, yeah, they look a bit narrow around the pickup truck. They're not taking and squarish. I think it's Mexico. And this could be in the um, Oaxaca region, I believe, where I've been only once. Um, it's a bit mountainous like this. Not as much, though. Anyway, the north of Mexico is very desert-like. So I'm going to go more towards the Chiapas, Veracruz, all this area. Let's see. Oops. Just made it. I, I was using all my time. The second best guess, all right, qualified. It was indeed, oh, very close, but actually on the border on the other side, in Guatemala. All right, fair enough. 
Oh, I should uh, be careful with uh, speaking too much and then I'm not actually guessing anything. All right, this looks European. Could be Belgium or Denmark, I think, uh, Denmark, uh, Netherlands. And I think it's the Netherlands because the license plates are yellow and this is Dutch. So this is the Netherlands. But where in the Netherlands? It doesn't look like Amsterdam. Let's go a bit further south. So we have three guesses, so if I end up being disqualified, I'm going to make another guess somewhere else. All right, for now I'm the closest. The second guesser is 13 kilometers away from me. All right, the third one is worse. So I don't need to guess again for the time being. And the reason why I went here is just because it's not next to a big city, but it could be actually anywhere else. And I was 39 kilometers, it was close to the coast in this area. Oh, it's still the best guess. All right, qualified. We're at least on the podium. Phew. I would be, would be ashamed to record something and then I just lose in a lazy way. All right, uh, I think it's a C typical of, uh, with this little uh, accent of uh, Czechia or Lithuania. And I can never really distinguish these languages. I haven't practiced enough. I mean, there are little syllables that all right, we have, I think we're like, oh, it's SI or SL for Slovenia, right? Dot SL, I think. I'm not sure if I read properly here. It could be Slovenia. It's not impossible. All right, I have to go instead of just talking and talking and not do anything. Let's go here, not too far away from the mountains. All right, that's the best guess for now. Aaron, the second player, is a thousand kilometers away and now he's better than me. 64. Right, is this mountainous or not? I cannot. I don't know where to go for 64. The other person I didn't guess. Oh, he guessed or she guessed and if further away. It was Slovenia next to Ljubljana. Ljubljana. Ljub oh, whatever. You got me. All right. So it was Slovenia. It was indeed .sl or .si. I'm not sure I read properly. And it looks Slovenian. All right, this looks like Singapore straight away because of the black and white. The taxi, it's not a taxi. It says slow, there's the black and white on the side. And we probably have a bad talk. Yeah, this is the sign of Singapore, the street signs. Um, uh, this is going to be a battle of a few hundred meters. What do I have here? I have Batok. I can't see more than this. Oh, he's closer than me. Batok 31. I have no idea where this is. I have to make another guess. Hang on. Let me see. Where is this street name? Batok West Avenue. Where is Batok? Can I see Batok? I don't know where it is. Oh, but I saw Batok. All right. 7.2 kilometers here. I just got lucky. I just saw the district. Bukit Batok. And we won. Woohoo. All right, 10 season points, that's great. Great start, and Ernie plus four on the rankings. Just saw the district by chance. I know some of the districts like Jurong or Woodlands or um, which, oh, pa Pasir Ris, because I don't know, it just comes up a few times. Uh, great stuff. So 10 season points for distance. We still only have the silver medal for that. We need to get more points to get a gold medal, but that's just, the gamification of this thing. All right, let's do a countries, battle royale countries. This is a bit harder because if you don't guess the exact country, then you're out. It's as simple as that. And if you're the last one to guess, you're out. So it's speed and accuracy. Let's see the other players. They're not very strong, as much as I could tell, but that doesn't mean I should be arrogant. Uh, oh, looks like Singapore again, doesn't it? With the black and white sides. But is it? It seems to be driving on the left. Oh, look at this. This is Nathan Road. This is Singapore. Not because it's Nathan Road, although I had it before. It's because of the typical green sign for the street and the slightly curved, rounded shape of the street sign. White lettering on green, almost, I think, 99% if not all of the street signs in Singapore are like this, and you have this black and white stripe on the pavement on the side of the road. 
And these are typical taxis in Singapore as well. They have different colors, it's not only the this blue and white. It's just the shape of the car, I don't know what brand it is. A lot of people are guessing Spain, Canada, the US. Uh, you should pay attention because they're driving on the left here. So clearly it's not gonna be either of these countries. Philippines drives on the right, so it cannot be the Philippines. We have five people qualified for, which is, for a country which is actually fairly easy. Two people already disqualified because they made all their guesses. And there's one 50-50 bonus that you can use. But then if you get the wrong, if you make the wrong choice out of the 50-50, it gives you two countries from which to choose from. You choose the wrong one, then you're, you're gone, you've lost. All right, let's get serious. This looks European. Uh, just the vibe of it. The electricity, electricity lines are on top. I don't know what this tells me anything. It's just maybe it's Eastern Europe. I don't know. It has a European license plate. You can see the blue thingy on the left-hand side of the license plate. But for now, it's very flat. I'm wondering if it's one of the Baltic states. Oh, shoot. I don't remember where a street sign is like this. Maria. <sighs> Dark blue. Where would this be? Do I see anything else? People have guessed Netherlands, but it's wrong. You can look at the top right corner. Ouch. It's not Sweden. It's not Austria. People are guessing. It's not a bunch of countries. I need to check the time as well. Ooh, these pipes are typical of Eastern Europe, even Poland or Russia. Ooh, I'm gonna go for one of the Baltic states. I'm gonna go for Estonia for now. It is Estonia, first guess. Oh, wow, I got lucky on that one. Next to Tallinn, actually. So if you look at the at these pipes going over ground, this is typical Soviet or Eastern European style in the old days. I remember in Poland, in my current, current parents' uh, town, they had these gas pipes or water pipes. I don't actually know what went inside. In this case, I don't know either. All right, four people made it. Three can make it for the next round, come on. If we make it the next round, I get I get on the podium. I get on the podium, but let's see. Cruz Verde. Uh, this sounds Spanish, but everyone's guessing. No, they guess Mexico and Spain is wrong. It's not Spain. This looks like South America. It's very green. It could be Colombia, but there's no car or Ecuador. Very green, mountainous. I want to make sure it's not uh, Portugal, and, I, and I'm confusing with Portuguese. Where's the sun? I think the sun is this way. Okay, uh, no idea. It's not Brazil. Someone gets Brazil. Oh, we have a we have a map. We have a. Is this Guatemala? I think it's Guatemalan flag, but I. It is Guatemala. Oof! Got lucky. Just spotted these flags, but this one is doesn't look like it looks like Costa Rica. Got very lucky to spot these flags in the middle of nowhere. I'm the only one to have guessed. We have Argentina guessed, it's wrong. We have India, this is totally wrong. It has nothing to do with India. Um, wow, got very lucky. I don't think I would have guessed. Uh, I got, I think, oh, with the sun, it was, it looked at the Northern Hemisphere. This is when I looked around and I saw the flags. I was about to say, the sun looks like the Northern Hemisphere, but we had already eliminated Mexico. All right, two made it. I'm in the final, so I get at least seven points. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where is the sun? It's this way. All right, we're in the northern hemisphere. Oh, it's written here. Pudzor. Or this is... I don't know. Great. No idea. Let's do Let's do a guess. Log guess. It's not Czechia. All right. Vizijs, Nakladnic, Vodzidiel. I have no idea which language this is. It's Eastern European. Is this, could this be Serbia? Trubeze. He's guessed uh, Hungary. It's not Hungarian. That, that I was pretty certain of. I'm wondering if it's Serbia. Let me go for Serbia. It's wrong. I am wrong with Serbia. I only have one 50-50 left. Poland or Slovakia? Easy. Slovakia. And I won. Why? Because I know how to speak Polish. Well, read Polish, not speak. We got a silver medal. Great. And we won this round. Wow, two victories. You're lucky because I don't win usually two in a row. At least not anymore. I used to. Um, but I use my 
just to go quickly, since anyway I had one more guess, and then I would be knocked out anyway. And they didn't guess faster than I than I did, so excellent. One victory for the distance, one victory for Battle Royale Countries. And now the last one, Duel, and this is going to be probably very fast because I'm going to be matched with someone of my strength. So I always freak out. I always think they're much stronger than me, that I am not as good. Um, make sure this is on mute. Joining a lobby, just waiting to be matched with someone who has the strength of... 840, almost the same strength, almost the same level of experience. This is like distance, right? I don't need to give the, the countries. I can relax on that front. Oh, shoot. This looks like the uh, uh, islands in... Wait, wait, wait. No. No, this is... This is Indonesian. But this looks Indonesia like uh, somewhere far away. <laughs> the problem is there's so many islands in Indonesia that I... I... All right, I'm going for Makassar, next to Makassar, because it looks... Ah, it was in Sumatra, and of course he got it closer. I lost so many points on this one. I could have hedged my bets, but I thought I'd be... Ah, nah, try a bit. Risk and risk it. All right, let me see where this is. Very flat. Uh, I don't know which hemisphere we are. It looks like the northern hemisphere. It looks like it's... Was this snow? Hang on. Was it frozen? No, it is. It, it looked like... Um, it still looks like the... I don't see it anymore. Huh. Maybe I just imagined it. I have no idea. These looks like the bollards of the... I don't know how you say... The, the road... The things on the side of the road. It looks like a European style. Very flat. Oh, it's written here. Betonne la das es beton pumpalas. Cavice la das. When it's ass like this... I mean, you understand what I mean by ass. Um, I think it is, it is, uh, it is snow, very flat, I think it's Latvia, when if, when all the, it's not, oh my god, it's so wrong, and I'm almost eliminated, I told you it would be quick, it was Hungary, alright, I thought it was, oh no, we're inside a shopping mall or something, that's the worst, I've never ever guessed it correctly, Global Partners, I don't, know, I don't know what language is this. Is this. Oh, Bilbao. All right, it's in the Guggenheim, probably. Got it. All right, hopefully I'm not going to lose this one. Guggenheim. I think it's the Guggenheim. It is the Guggenheim. All right, he guessed it as well. Yaroslav. I can see his first name. We don't have many points left. Where are we on this one? Ooh, I have no idea. This could be... No, yellow line, this is South America, most likely. Actually, I have a doubt. Oh, there's this green thing at the top. Hang on, is this South America? Oh, it's top all the way. It's not, it's probably the US, actually. And I have no idea where, and I don't know where the green license uh, license plate is. I mean, this, oh, I thought it was South America. Yeah, 55 interstate, 70 interstate, and I forgot how your um, the interstates are numbered so i am not gonna find this he's probably searching for it i see the 20 here 80 i'm looking for what i already forgot great amazing i'm looking for 55 and 70. Can I find any of this? And it's quite green and it seems a bit poor, to be honest. I think I see the 55 here and 72 and 70 is here. All right, it's next to St. Louis. I'm going to guess. All right, so it's Illinois. Yes, it was St. Louis. Best guess, right. A bit more even. He still has 4,700 points. This is healing time, which is not as good in terms of healing power as before. So I only get a quarter of the points I'm going to make on this round. He doesn't really need it. He's probably going to guess very quickly. I don't know where this is. I have no idea. He's already guessed, obviously. It looks, there's a lot of hedges, but does it look like the UK? It doesn't look like the UK, does it? I'm going to go for the UK because I don't have any better idea than this. It could be Ireland at the same time. It was the UK next Norwich. Hmm. 
Great, I get a thousand points. It won't get me very far. He has more than double the points I have, and now it's 1.5 damage. And never look at this tribute card. All right, this looks like, uh, ooh, olive trees. Northern Hemisphere, Spain, Italy, or maybe Greece. The road is very good. The road is very good. We have mountains in the south. Uh, the south, sorry, this way. And it's not the south, it's the east. Come on. It's not done yet. Is this Spain? I think Greece doesn't have the such good roads. Sorry for any Greek uh, viewers of this uh, video. Um, he's guessed. I have no idea what this is. Olive trees, very good road. I'm gonna go for Spain. Mountains on the east. Uh, sorry, on the west. I don't remember. I'm gonna go here. And it was Sardinia. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm still in the game. He was closer. He was in Italy. I guess I could always guess Sardinia when I don't know if it's Italy or Spain. All right, this looks like Thai. And they're driving on... If they're driving on the right, it's actually not Thai. It's Cambodia. Aha! Driving on the right-hand side. Yep. They're driving on the right, but Cambodia is next to Thailand, so I have to be careful. Because he could be closer than me. Or it could be Lao, I don't know. Let's see. It was Lao, it was Van Tian. Ouch, he was a bit closer. He didn't go for it. He went to Thailand. He was wrong on the driving side, but he was closer. That's what I was worried about. All right, this could be Taiwan or South Korea. It is Taiwan. Because of the Chinese characters, I believe this is Chinese. Yes, it's not Korean. Don't think so. And this diagonal stripe, yellow and black, that you see on the side, this is typical of Taiwan. He's guessed already. He knows. I don't see mountains anywhere. So, oh, I see a bit of mountains on that side. I've got nine seconds left. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Could be anywhere in the country. Ooh, he went for Japan. Ooh, he went for Japan, two and a half damage. Yes! This is a victory! Wow, that was a comeback. I was losing every single point, plus 15, 10 season points, three victories in a row. You got the best video out here, because I, that never happens with the latest, uh, latest rules. Uh, I'm a bit proud of myself. So, wow, nice. We got silver medals for everything. And that's it for today. That was week three of the GeoGasa weekend series. Uh, total season standings, I'm at 352. I still have seven games to play. 352 globally, uh, so it's very far away uh, from the the best ones who have almost perfect points. I'm not going to brag too long. That uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.